Hi, I'm Steve. Welcome to my shop. I've had a little bit of a hiatus. I needed a break and I took it and now I'm back. And I'm at the Shaper. I've got a commission to make a flag case uh, for a burial flag and I'm in the process of doing it. And then I've already made a video on that, but I want to talk in more detail as I go through this about various tool setups and um, one of those is on the Shaper with the Eigner Integral Fence. And there's at least one necessary option, in my opinion, and that's this thing. It's called a filler bar. And in this video, I'm going to cover where and how you use this. And another option, and this to me is not absolutely necessary. It might be under certain circumstances, but this is called a spreader. And what this does, this wedges between the slots and the outfeed fence, and it it has a little finger that you can use a set screw and extend that out and support say a rabbit or something but this can also be used as a filler at the top of your workpiece and I was close on on this particular project but I did not need to use this but I'll show you how I would use it if I needed to so let's head over to the shaper and uh, I'll show you how I make these uh, the setup and the pieces and let's move on I've got uh, this cutter is uh, 81 millimeters. I've got 100, nominally 100 millimeter uh, stock that I need to feed through it and make a big uh, groove through this, uh, the flag uh, case side pieces. And uh, I thought I'd cover this because if you look at this, I've got 10 millimeters between the table and the bottom of that spur. And then I've got 81 millimeters, so that takes it to 91. So I don't have a whole lot of meat here, but I wanted to talk about things. As, a, as I cut this thing through, if I didn't do anything else, I'd really have issues at the bottom because there's a fairly large gap here. And Eigner makes these they call this a filler bar, and you've probably seen me use this before. You put that in the outfeed fence, and it's designed to go on the bottom, and it will fill that and keep your stock from diving through. So that is the filler bar, and you just you can raise and lower these fence plates to align the fingers, and that you can do that on either side. So Eigner also makes this what's called a spreader. And if I had an issue here where this, let me move this to the other end, this is my stock. If, I, if, I, if this stock between the top of that cutter and this fell into one of these gaps, uh, I would have an issue. Now, I don't have the issue with this, but if I did, I could, as an alternative, use this spreader bar. Let's say it's, let's say I was doing it here. I could put a spreader bar here, and there's kind of a wedge action here. You just tighten that in, and that could fill that gap. And, and this doesn't sit exactly flush, but you could pull this, push this out to where this very tip is flush and provide you stock support to keep the top of the piece from diving into that. So I just thought I'd cover those, those two items and I'll, uh, I think I'll just end by making a few cuts here. One things I like to do is mark uh, the side that goes against the fence and which side goes against the table. So I've put an X against the fence and a down arrow for the table on all my pieces for the, to keep the best looking grain on the outside. Mm -hmm. 